Five minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Kelly Hart is in the studio. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The effervescent Kelly Hart is in the studio. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about Ocala. We're going to talk about Ocala. Yes. And Ocala Magazine. Yes. Well, Ocala's that's the one, best. That's one thing we have in common, Ocala. We do. We do have that. And the fact that we were not here last week. That's correct. <laughs> and we're awesome. <laughs> good morning, Kelly. <laughs> How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Are yes. you, uh, let's see, it's the ninth day. Everybody says don't ask if, if you're into autumn yet. That's that's the new the new etiquette thing. Don't ask. Don't ask? Yeah. yeah. Are you into autumn yet? So it's like, oh gosh, everybody's asking Why me Why can't that. you ask if you're know. into autumn? I don't know. I mean, are, we, are we that sensitive now yeah, that we can't we've even become ask sensitive. if you're into autumn? Yeah, are you into autumn? It's, oh the only, it's, the only, it's the only season with two names. I am into autumn. Do you, do you prefer the word autumn to fall? I like, I like autumn. Why is that? Well. Fall? It I mean, sounds I, like I you're use falling. The, I probably use the word fall more than I do. I'm falling. Autumn, but um, <laughs> our leaves really don't fall, so I guess autumn would be more appropriate for yeah. Ocala, but it's a pretty word. Autumn, autumn. and, and, autumn and uh, dam are the two words that end in MN. Dam. Yeah, I use that one a this lot. Damn autumn. <laughs> what month is this? It's damn oh, autumn. Oh yeah, I use that one. I use that one a lot <laughs> year round, actually. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I love the weather. It's it feels wonderful outside, and you know I've actually opened my windows in my home a few times now. And that is nice when you can do that. Come through. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah, it feels wonderful. So, um, so and, and with you, autumn come you know our our new. Look at your fingernails. Our, what what are you wearing right now? That's yellow. Nothing. That goes with the fingernails. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. My toenails. <laughs> I, I don't want to bend over. <laughs> they match. Oh, okay. It's all the same. All right, I see. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't match my polish to my <laughs> to my outfits. That would be impossible. So, just whatever I'm feeling at that particular time. So. So, will you drive to uh, see foliage? I doubt it. You won't do this. Do you, do you, I would love to, but you, I, I sincerely doubt that that'll happen. I think I want to do that this year. Well, how, so how far would you have to drive? I mean, where where Georgia, can you go? So North Georgia, Georgia North yeah. Georgia, the mountains, like yeah, I doubt that'll happen. I doubt it, but I would love it. Will Should you bring me it. back a bag of, of leaves if you go? I'll bring you back a bag. Okay, that'd be great. It'd be better if I bring you back a bag than there, there was a uh, oh a website foliage online or something like that for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. They'll send you three leaves out of what? Vermont. Yeah. Holy smoke! I know. Is that crazy? Well, you know. Um, when I was on the West Coast, I got to talking to one of my girlfriends there that I met about moss. And she had you know, no clue what this moss is. Right. And so I so I was trying to explain like it to Spanish her. Spanish moss? Yeah, like, okay. like Spanish moss. Okay. Okay. And so I was kidding with her and I said, Well, I'll tell you what, when I get home, I'll put some in a bag for you and I'll and I'll ship it. And then I got looking online and there's actually just kind people of people who same do thing. that. There's people who will ship moss, Spanish moss to other parts of the nation where there's no moss. Is that gross? Like, I mean, just a box It is kind of gross, moss? yeah. Yeah, but if you go to the tourist stops right here in Marion County, like, I don't know, the places that sell the oranges and all that stuff, mm -hmm. they have little bags of moss that you can buy. It's so gross. <laughs> or little tiny... Red bugs in them? You probably... Congratulations. That's yeah. how things spread. Let's keep our moss <laughs> local. Keep our moss local. Come on. Um, yeah, the new issue of Ocala Magazine is out. I don't know if you've... I, I didn't see any out in the lobby. Well, I haven't so, seen that okay. one, no. Let All me right. see the car. Oh, I see it. I got to look down. Okay, medical experts. Medical Anybody experts. Anybody we know? I'm, I'm certain of it. Inside, there's actually several profiles on local physicians that are all stellar in their fields and, and, and leaders in advancement here in town. And um, so we were able to connect with a lot of physicians that taught us a lot. You know, every single month I learn so much about something new. And in this particular month, there's a story about the eye limb. I don't know if you've heard. The what? It's called an eye limb. E Y E. L I M B. But it means an the first. An eye limb. Okay. <laughs> a limb. Is the first part E Y E like these no, kind of I. eyes? No, it's eye. Oh, like oh, the letter I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip through so I can I can show it to you, and if for the people that are watching, they'll be able to see it. It's pretty amazing. Um, what actually sparked? It's pretty cool, right? That is nice. It's awesome, and 
what sparked my interest in it was I was reading Reader's Digest, which I love to read, and I was reading about phantom pain and people with prosthetics that experience this this phantom pain yeah. or there might be an itch. You know, you feel like you have an itch, but there's nothing really there. Mm -hmm. But your brain, when you lose a limb, your, your brain doesn't just automatically stop sending out signals to all those parts of your body. It's programmed to do that, you know, mm -hmm. the way God made it. So so you'll have tingling or sensations to a part of your body that isn't, that isn't there. And so I thought, wow, you know, that's something I'd like to know more about. And so I started looking into prosthetics and with October being our medical advances issue, I thought, okay, there's gotta be some advances from from the time, for example, my great aunt had a wooden leg. I mean, she did. A, yes, for real. For oh, wow. real. And she lost it when she was very young. In fact, she, it was on a school bus, and her father drove the bus, and there was an accident. And when the bus fell, she fell out the window. The bus fell on the leg. Boom! The leg is gone. Oh, that's how she lost her that's real how leg. She lost her real leg. Oh, okay. Okay. Her father was the bus driver. Oh my crazy? goodness, that's so, sad. So growing up, yeah. my great aunt had this, but I mean, it was a wooden. How far up did it go, below the knee or above the knee? It, it, was, it was below the knee, below, right okay. below the knee. And so I had a little bit of familiarity with prosthetics, but I never really thought about the advances or, or things that, you know. Right, right, right. You know, joking growing up, she had this hollow leg and she'd tell us she like hit candy and stuff in her leg. Did she <laughs> so really? gross. <laughs> I don't know if she did or not. She never gave me any candy. <laughs> so, but you know, that was kind of the joke or whatever. And, um, but in looking into it, I thought, wow, you know, we've come so, so far in, of course, in, in all areas of medical advancements, but sp specifically in prosthetics. And so the Hanger Clinic is right here in Ocala. And so I reached out to the good folks at the Hanger Clinic and just started asking them about the advancements. I mean, where are we now in the, yeah, in yeah. the way of prosthetics? And so they introduced me to this eye limb. And uh, in fact, one of the gentlemen there that I spoke to had, he played an, a pretty integral part in the, in the Dolphin Tale, you know, the movie, Oh right! With the do yeah, the right. prosthetic right. dolphin tail. Yes. So that was in uh, Clearwater. Is that where that dolphin was? I don't know. St. Pete, or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I should probably ask my daughter because she loved the movie. But so we got to talking, and they introduced me to this eye limb, which is this amazing bionic hand. Uh huh. And uh, so the way that they do it is they connect it to your to your nerves, and on your iPhone there's an app, of course. And there's all these different movements. There's like 36 or 38. So you move your left hand with your right hand or vice versa? Well, so what you do is you 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 have the hand. It's connected to your nerves. And you press a particular movement. And you start training your hand based on these movements to do all of these different controls. And eventually, oh, your, okay. your, your muscle memory and your nerves, you... You just think you about understand. it in your hand. So then moves. you can use it. Oh, wow. That it's is cool. It's really amazing. And we had the opportunity. Um, a young lady came in who has had this hand now for, you know, just a few months. And she's goodness. still learning. How did she lose her real hand? Uh, she was born with a oh, okay. de degenerative d disease. And, and so she's used other different prosthetics. But now this hand being available, she said, has just changed her life because, you know, we really take for granted, or at least I, I know that I do. I mean, right. just being able right. to, you know, sure. pick something up or, yeah. I mean, anything that we do with our hands, especially if you're a creative person, your hands are so, they're like a tool and you just take for granted how yeah. much you can do with them. And so she just said it, it has completely changed her life in the way that she, it, it looks, you know, like a real hand and she's able to do movements and, and, um, you know, button things or tie her shoestrings things that she has not been isn't able that to do. interesting wow so amazing and not only that but it has this little you know now we use tablets and smartphones and you know we just get you know our thumbs going and we're t typing away but if you don't have you know if, if you're not using the flesh you know your or your fingertips right right or a stylus or something you can't use these tablets well this hand has built in uh, the sensors. So, oh, wow. Okay. So you're able to use your hand this is to operate. a dumb question. Can you feel with it or just move things? You cannot feel with it. You can't feel. No, you can't feel with it. Um, but, you know, who knows down the road what may soon. happen yeah, and yeah. as far as future advancements. But just to be able to talk to uh, these people, you know, when they came in, uh, some guys from the hangar clinic came in. We had a lady who um, has a... A, 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 C, a C limb or C leg, which is another advancement in what is lower the, body prosthetics. What does the first letter stand for? C. I don't know. And the I stands for intelligent? In the I, ha I limb? In the I limb. Well, I would assume that was, yeah. I would assume that's what that stands okay. for. Um, but I just thought that it was so amazing. You know, it the is, things that we is. don't think about. And um, 
just to be able to learn and meet people and reach out and hear their story about life. In fact, I think it was so inspiring. A lot of the stories I read were people who were otherwise able-bodied until an accident happened that caused them to lose a limb. And they were leading kind of mediocre lives like like most anybody. And uh, they lose a limb and it gives them such an appreciation for life again that now it's like, well, yes, I've lost a leg, but I also have climbed Mount Everest or I've gotten in shape, which... I would have never thought to do prior, but right, 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 you know, so it's right. almost like to overcome something, you also you really learn to excel, become better, yeah, yeah, and yeah. even become better. So, it's it's a it's a touching story, but it's very informative in and of itself. But to also hear the stories in there about the people who we were able to interview locally that are living with these awesome prosthetics. That is a really cool idea for an article. So did you did you ever hear that a, a dolphin has a brain that is actually more powerful than ours, but they don't have thumbs? So they can't build things. So we. Th- so if dolphins had thumbs, <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I know they don't have thumbs, but do they have? Any, they don't have fingers at all. No, I know. So I know. what do you mean they don't have thumbs? Like, well, because if we didn't have thumbs, we mm-hmm. c- we couldn't build anything. Hmm. We'd be stuck. <laughs> 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 I, 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 it's not funny, <laughs> but it kind of is. I mean, think about it. If you, if you, if you had all, if all you had was your four fingers, right? How would you pick anything up? Well, you'd get an eye limb. <laughs> you'd get an eye limb, <laughs> right. and, and so if you give an eye limb to a dolphin, I mean, they've got better brains than us, oh according my God. to somebody. They could take over the world. They could, yeah, they could, well, but they're not waterproof. Maybe they should. The be. eye limb is not waterproof. But that's so a, now we've run into that's a snafu. easy. That's an easy fix, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Can we take a break? Okay. We have to take a break. All right. We'll we'll be be right back talking about all this important stuff. (laughs) (laughs) The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, intervals of clouds and sunshine, uh, high rift current to risk at the coast. There can be a shower with thunderstorm as well later today, especially over the interior, the high 84 to 88. Partly cloudy tonight, there can be a brief shower or two in the area, though 69 to 73. But tomorrow, more clouds and sun with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm or two, the high 82 to 86. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Chip, I know we made believers out of those who thought there was no such thing as a free ride. No interest on most new Fords for 72 months? Well, Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue is sweetening that terrific deal even more. Really? How about free fuel for a year? Free fuel for a year? Simply visit FordofOcala.com or MyVillageFord.com, schedule a test drive of any vehicle on the lot, and you become automatically eligible to be chosen to receive free fuel for a year. That's just another great reason to shop for your next car, truck, SUV, or crossover at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village. Ford of Bellevue. Aside from being eligible to receive free fuel for a year, the very best reason to buy from Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue is the service, the selection, and of course, the price. That's right. You don't have to wait for a holiday or, quote, sales event at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue every day's a sale day. Where have I heard that before? Fuel for your eligibility requires valid license driver over 21. One entry per person per household must complete test drive. Fuel for a year winner will receive preset amount of $1,200 in the form of a service station debit card. See dealer for complete details. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. All right, uh. 20 minutes after 10 o'clock. Kel- Kelly Hart is in the studio. We're talking about monkeys and, and uh, the fact that some of them smoke. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you see Sadly, this? Yeah. Did you see they found the cobra? Yeah, I did. I, I was, in fact, I was, just, uh, I was talking to uh, Joe in the lobby about it because when I was listening to the radio yesterday, I was listening to an Orlando station in the morning, and the gentleman on the station 
had said, you know, they had found this cobra. And he was kind of disappointed because in Orlando, it's been so fun for everybody there to, you know, look for, look for the cobra. The cobra. Al- Elvis is his name. Is it? That's the name it's of Elvis. the cobra, yeah. Of course, of course it is. Um, and so it was almost like the Orlando Loch Ness Monster because people were looking for yeah, it. Yeah, right, right. And like sightings. But and you know, the thing had a, a, a um, what do you call it? A, a chip in it so that they could know who the owner was and everything. Did you know that? Well, then why did it take them so long to find this? Because thing? they couldn't find him. They couldn't find the cobra. So they called the owner up to say, hey, we found Elvis. And he was so happy. And so we were running over to Elvis. And I'm trying to picture what that was like. I mean, you find your dog. You, you hug get, the dog. You get right. big hug, licking your face. Mm-mm. Not a cobra. What do you do with a cobra? I don't know. Does a cobra even care? Does he wag his tail? They don't even have a tail. He has like a little... He's all tail. That's all well, it is. Yeah. I guess so. I don't know. You just flewed him right in back into the. Well, what would you do if you lost? Your co- well, first of all, I wouldn't have a cobra. But if you did, okay. but if you did, and somebody found it, uh-huh. would you I'd be hug like, it? Keep it. No. You would say keep it. Keep it. That's your yeah. pet. Hmm. No, you wouldn't say keep it. No, I wouldn't. But you would I, swat I would, it on I the would, t- on the butt with a newspaper. I, don't do that I ever would, again. I would not hug it. I can <laughs> promise you that. I can promise you that. Yeah, well, I'm glad that his cobra has been found, yeah, yeah. and I would suggest that he keep his cobra at home. Would it, would it have been a more fun story if it was in Anaconda? I think that would have been a more fun story. Uh, I mean, well, yeah. Just, I mean, it just been to a lot be able more. to say that, you know, yeah. that the man, his anaconda has his been found. anaconda on the loose. Now, that's something you would hug. You could hug an anaconda. I think so. Right. He'd, he'd hug you. Well, yeah, you can't. I wouldn't hug him for too long. <laughs> it would be the last hug you ever got. <laughs> I heard. So you were talking about uh, prosthetic limbs. Yeah. So so one of the stories within this month's issue is it's on the eye limb, and it's an awesome story. I mean, it's just so informative, and it really... It really just tells you how far we've come in the way of advancements and you know there's so many things it's almost like you know it's kind of like when you're buying a new car and so you you decide on the car you want and all of a sudden you see that car everywhere right you know right, it's like right. one of those i don't know there's a name for that phenomenon i don't mm. know exactly what it is right but but there is an actual name for that and right. and i think it's the same with anything else so when i start researching and, and reading about things of course then i'm noticing and, and everywhere and i'm noticing everywhere and 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 i think I think that's why it's so awesome, my job, so and, a, and any jo- any writer, because you start to open up dialogue for people to read, and then you hope that they do the same thing, that in reading it and then right, understanding it, right. that they start to really kind of be aware of those things that are out there and, right, and right, not... Right ignore them or you know take them for granted or you know and obviously anytime you have information about something then you become a lot more sensitive to it and it right. kind of has value you know more so and so you treat people with more right. respect and so i just have a, a whole newfound appreciation for people who live with you know this type of thing every right. single day it's I, I watched amazing the, i watched the ted talk uh on the, one of the ladies who um lost a leg at the Boston Marathon bombing and mm-hmm. she was standing on stage in shorts and the prosthetic leg looked just as same, just as good as her real leg and I couldn't even tell which was which until like later on if you keep looking because once she tells you what she, sure. when you first hear her talk you don't even know that she's got a prosthetic leg but, but here's the part I wanted to tell you when it first happened because she was a dancer when it first happened she was in the wheelchair at the hospital and they said to her Gosh, we, we hope you get. She says, I'm going to dance again. And the doctor overheard her say that. And he said, let me tell you something. I don't want you to get your hopes up. I've been doing this for years and years. The chances are one in a million that you will not only not dance, uh, that you, the one in a million that you would ever dance again, you, you won't even walk again is more likely. And she says, well, I'm going to be that one. That's awesome. And she is. She's dancing again. That's amazing. And in fact, she might have been on that show, Dancing with the yeah. Stars. Well, you know, it's not a doctor's job to give you faith. That's something that you have to have hmm. in yourself. Good line. So if you really think about it, it's kind of a doctor's job to just cut to the chase and, and give you probably the worst of it. But if you have faith, um, you know, nothing a doctor is going to tell you is really Wonderful keep line. You. Thank you. That's something you should build Thanks. on. I should be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> And so, but that's not the only thing in this month's issue. What else? Is uh, in there's there? a lot of really awesome stuff in here. One of the other things that we had a great time doing was there's an article about fear and why people are so fascinated with being scared. And of course, which is very appropriate with it being October and, uh, and Halloween right, and right. the big, huge industry surrounding fear. And there's a psychology behind it. And 
you know, just a lot of physiological things that happen and psychological things that happen for people that enjoy being afraid. And it was awesome because we got to go out and, you know, Chris Red is our chief photographer and just stellar, stellar photographer. And so we were able to set up some, um, some portraits, some very scary type portraits. And really? All local. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Hold I mean, I think that's one of the things Ocala Magazine prides ourselves on is we, I mean, anytime we can, we shoot our own photos. I mean, you might go through and you might see a couple little images that we've pulled off of, you know, something else. But I would say over 90% of our, of our book is original photography. And I think cool. that really sets us apart. But these were, these were extremely fun to do. So, um, you see, hold them up to the camera so I can so see. So the, the name of the article is Bump in the Night. Okay. And, it, and it talks about why we are actually fascinated with fear. And that's pretty cool. That guy... The, the lead in spread is uh, his name is Rick. He actually works for my father. This was shot at Who, the B- Fuqua Sawmill. Yes, Rick. Rick and, works with Rick, your father. Yeah, and his name is Rick the Reaper. That's 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 a <laughs> stage name because he's a wrestler. Oh, okay. So we needed okay. somebody big and kind of scary oh, and, okay, and okay. Uh, who would really go along with this whole thing. And so, um, you know, Rick the Reaper. Rick the Reaper. Yeah. So he was pretty proud of his debut. And so there we are here. Okay. And this uh-huh. is original photography, so it's it's pretty awesome that we were able to capture. That is I mean, very we cool. really could not yeah. have picked better models for this spread because everybody really understood it. So do we like fear or do we like safe fear? I, I, I mean, if, if you're in, you know, the World Trade Center and it's burning, that you don't like that fear. No, no. But if, but if you're in a, in a Universal Studios in a fake elevator and, and the, the announcer says, oh my gosh, I think, I think we're in an earthquake. Right. It, it, it's fun because you know it's not real. Right. And that's one of the, the things that's discussed as a psychology behind it is we know that it's not real. Although our body doesn't really know the reacts difference. Like it it, it yeah. still reacts when you first are afraid. It doesn't know that is this a real scary situation or is this, you know, Universal Studios. But of course, then oh, we have a call. <laughs> someone's calling in. <laughs> yeah, someone's oh. calling. Oh, awesome. Good morning. You're on good the morning. air with Kelly. Hi. Good morning, guys. Hey. Hi. Good morning. Hey, uh, Kelly. Have you heard uh, when the, our new Symphony Hall in Tuscaloosa Park is going to be having their uh, uh, open house. Uh, I drive by several times a week. It looks like the hall itself is finished. They're working on the parking right now. Uh, have you heard anything on, on a possible open house? Uh, well, yes, sir. Actually, I know they are finishing things up, and I've been kind of staying up to date through Matt Wardell and what's going on. And I know that on Friday evening, October 23rd, is their opening okay. night. Oh, okay. On the 23rd, it'll yes, be an uh, open, uh, open house. Yes, it's it's opening night, and I do think that there's um, actually a preview day or something that might be a day or two prior to that, and I don't have those dates in front of me. Um, but what you can do is you can always just go over there. In fact, I think if you go on their website, you'll be able to see, and I don't know if that's just media-specific or if it's open to the public, but I do know that their formal opening night is on Friday, October 23rd. Okay, now is that going to be like a concert or just an open house? Do you know that? They will be playing, yes, sir. So they will be playing. Well, thank you Mm -hmm. so much. You're so welcome. Bye now. Bye bye. That is looking pretty good. I've been oh, keeping up with wait. it also. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah. wait. I really can't wait. I'm, I'm just so excited because we've, I mean, I remember when Matt took me over there when they had just kind of gotten the key and I mean, it smelled moldy and it was just terrible. I mean, it was really terrible. And so to watch the progress, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. as he's taken me over there a few times and I'm just, it's just I awesome. think what it'll do so it is awesome. it'll open up the entire part of that uh, part of the city. Tuscaloosa Park will thrive once again like oh it gosh. used to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I when they have so. outdoor concerts, I mean, just imagine being yeah. able to hear it all through the entire Be neat. district. So, uh, pick up please pick up an, an October issue of Ocala Magazine, like us on Facebook. We've finished our best of the best voting, but now through the month of October we have our People's Choice Award. So, ah. every day there's a new category and it's open-ended. So, the possibilities there are endless, but you have to like us on Facebook to keep up. And we hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Thank you, Kelly. Thank Always you fun. so much, Larry. We'll be right back. We'll make you look so good. Why don't you love me? Like I know you could. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, intervals of clouds and sunshine, uh, high rift currents risk at the coast. There can be a shower or thunderstorm as well later today, especially over the interior, the high 84 to 88. Partly cloudy.